Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. In my diagram here, this green shaded area is the sector. We want to know the area of that uh, pie piece, if you want to call it that, instead of the entire circle. So how do you find the area of that part of the circle? You're going to take the area of the entire circle and multiply it by which part of the circle you're talking about. So remember that the area of a circle is pi r squared. All right, so we just simply have to find the area of the entire circle and then we're going to multiply it by the part which is the central angle over 360 degrees because 360 degrees is the entire rotation of the circle okay in other words if I am going um, 180 out of 360 that would be one half of the circle Okay, so we just take half of the area. But in this case, let's do a real example. And let's say that this is a um, 65 degree angle here. And we also need another radius, and we'll say the radius is 5. All right, so how do you do that? Well, you're going to have pi r squared. So you're going to have pi times 5 squared. Multiply by the central angle of 65 and you're going to divide that whole thing by 360 degrees. All right, so at this point you should always be looking for a common factor and I see that 5 can divide into both of those numbers leaving me with 13 on the top and 72 on the bottom. And now let's go ahead and multiply all the way across. So it's 3.14 times 25 times 13 and we divide all that by 72. All right, in my example, the answer would be 14.1736, and let's call it 14.2. Most of my answers will be rounded to the nearest tenth, one decimal place. So again, we're going to take the area of the entire circle, multiply by what part we're talking about, the central angle divided by 360 degrees. All right, let's work a couple of these together. So grab a piece of paper and calculator and follow along with me. Here we go. I want you to work on numbers 1 and 2. If you think you know how to do it, go ahead and pause. Otherwise, watch me and we'll do it together. So what's the area of the entire circle? Well, it's going to be pi times the radius squared. The radius is 14. Then we're going to multiply it by the central angle 225 and we're going to divide it by 360. Now you can think of this as basically an entire fraction so the 360 is the denominator there. Let's look for a common factor and multiply it out. We can divide out a common factor of 5 here uh, and we can keep going but let's go ahead and just multiply the top and divide by 72 and we should get about 384. Okay, we'll call it 384.7. Now that's after rounding, and I'm only using a two decimal places for pi, but that would be centimeters, and we're talking about area, so it's centimeters squared. It's always going to be square units. All right, number two. We've got a radius of 8 kilometers, and we have a central angle there of 210. So what's the area of that green shaded sector? Well, the area of the entire circle? pi r squared. So pi times 8 squared. I'll go ahead and write 64. I can do that in my head. Then we multiply by 210 degrees and we divide by 360. Alright, remember the 210 divided by 360 represents the part of the area that we're looking for. Alright, let's see if we can factor out some common factors. Factor out um, 30 from the top and bottom here. And with the 64 and the 12, I notice that we can divide a 4 out of each of those. And that will leave me with 16 and 3. 
and let's go ahead and multiply it out. So that's going to be 3.14 times 16 times 7. Multiply all that and divide by 3. And our final answer should be around 117. 117.22 something. Let's call it that. Now what's my units? Right, it'd be kilometers squared. All right, very good. Area of a sector. Now these bottom two problems I'll work out in the next video. So look for problem set one, finding an area of a sector. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.